Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, though a little bit chilly, day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in this undisclosed swamp on the planet on this lovely winter day. It is now Tuesday, January 5th, 2021, and I am Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles, and uh, I am thrilled to hear that Andy the Gardener is alive and well. Well, at least he's alive. I don't know how well Andy is. Uh, hopefully, we can find out soon enough from the man directly. Uh, but Andy the Gardener is steaming into the year 2021 uh, full of vim and vinegar. Is that a polite way of saying that. So anybody on here who is not uh, aware <clears throat> of Andy the Gardener, we are going to change that. Now, Andy, uh, I am officially extending you the invitation to appear for an interview here on Collapse Chronicles. So remember to interview Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles. So everyone, uh, let's hope that Andy the Gardener <clears throat> will agree to be interviewed. I'm going to be starting up the interviews here again uh, in a few weeks after the the Trumpistine, uh, hopefully, comes crashing down in a couple of weeks, and we would love to have Andy the Gardener come on and share his views of the state of the planet in 2021, but uh, until that happens, let's hear what is on Andy the Gardener's mind in the opening bell of 2021. <clears throat> And this this is a this this is a conversation from inside the comment thread uh, about the great climate debate. Take it away, Andy the Gardener. <clears throat> Sam, meaning me, Sam has never, to my knowledge, been in agreement with the mainstream environmentalism in saying global warming is a greater threat than things like overpopulation or habitat destruction. In fact, it is the exact opposite, and I agree. Most on Sam's channel think global warming will be an increasing determinant of future calamity, but at the moment, humans themselves directly by sheer weight of numbers and their planet-eating actions are a far greater menace than global warming. Whether global warming is an exaggerated threat or not, and I am, include, and I am inclined to think it is actually downplayed massively, <clears throat> just not as much as overpopulation and habitat destruction. <coughs> Sam is correct in stating unequivocally that WASF, and I think we all know what WASF means, <coughs> total and utter hopelessness is the take-home message here. There is no reason for hope from the most basic thermodynamic level through what the CFM, that's the clueless effing moron normies, say and do every day to the highest echelons of government and the intellectual ivory towers. Humans like all squiggly life forms that have crawled the earth from time immemorial are programmed to put their short-term individual survival over their long-term collective survival. <clears throat> Thus, they will, meaning humans, will ignore threats of environmental consequences to the end 
and will suffer the same brutal outcomes that all species that bloom on short-term glut of resources, meaning, of course, fossil fuels in our case. <clears throat> there is no other possible outcome given, th given the parameters as there are. There is no evidence humans are in any way acting in a wise, sensible, and rational manner except very exceptional individual cases. Apart from that anomalous few, humans are not making any sacrifices at all. Their response is to brazenly lie about technological solutions as a smokescreen for violent doubling down on business as usual. Thus, collapse. Total collapse. It is the only reasonable conclusion. Humans are not changing genetically. They are not going to save the day by some miracle. There is no reason for any hope at all. There you go. Thank you, Andy the Gardener, <clears throat> for summing up the state of the planet and the opening bell of 2021 when there is zero hope on any level, as W-A-S-F. But anyway, since this was such a short video, I'm going to come back and just make a separate video on an entirely different uh, subject uh, as we're going to go over to military.com for the article, The Pentagon has six months to disclose what it knows about UFOs. So you'll have to go uh, to the next video to find uh, more information on the space aliens. Bye, guys. <clears throat>